Yo, what's up guys? Here I am, you vs Pro, and today I'm gonna make a test of this new F-160 fighter jet. As you can see, the price is 7 million bucks, so I don't think that everyone can afford this, so I'm gonna tell you about its main advantages and disadvantages, so you'll be able to make your own decision if you should spend all this money on this new fighter jet or not. And actually, there are so many things to say about this chat. And personally, I already made my own decision that maybe this buy doesn't worth this money. So let's go. So as you can see, there are not so many options to customize this aircraft. Basically, the main one is uh, armor. Make sure to buy the level 5 armor to increase the bullet resistance. And basically, this is it when it comes to customizing the aircraft. You can also change the color. Personally, I use Torino Red because I'm the third Beagle, so I'm gonna use a red plane. Also, all the anime fans gonna be happy about this livery. I think this is exactly what you need, guys. Also, for some people from uh, USA, we have this one. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so when we first come out of the hangar with this new F-160 airplane, you can actually feel how quick it is. Like, it's turning so quick and like uh, when you go in high to the sky, you can actually feel that this jet is actually way faster than a laser. It's very, very noticeable. You can actually see when it comes to like turning and spinning, this jet is something else. But when it comes to its cannon, oh my God, this is a nightmare, I swear, just look. The guy hit me and it took me like 20% of HP. This is actually crazy. It's very, very hard to kill a ground target with this jet. And also, I don't know if it's a bug or what, but you can't really see the bullets of this uh, F-160 aircraft. Like, look, the guy is shooting at me, but I just hear explosions and nothing else. Also, this jet is extremely fat. Like, every time you try to kill a ground target, you always hit the ground yourself. This is actually crazy, and most of the time you're ending up like this. Even the new laser does better than this uh, F-160. As you can see, like, with one hit, laser takes like 90% of HP, sometimes 60% of HP, but it's still much better than uh, than the new airplane, because it's taken, because it's always taken 20% of HP of your uh, of a ground target. And look, every time you try to kill somebody, you're ending up on the ground. And we're not even talking about killing some armored vehicles like tanks. Like, look, it's taken so many bullets to destroy any armored vehicle. And imagine what's gonna happen when you try to kill a night shark. That's gonna take you forever. Also, this cannon can't even handle against a laser or any other flying vehicle. It's taken at least six, sometimes seven, maybe eight bullets to kill a, to kill a laser. This is actually crazy. Like, how are you even supposed to kill your opponent who's using a jet? It will actually take you so much time to destroy any aircraft, which is crazy. And as I said, when it comes to killing a ground target, this is actually a nightmare. Like, look, First of all, this jet is very, very fast, so you don't really have much time to properly aim at the ground target. So most of the time you're gonna miss. And even if you hit the ground target, it's not gonna get any damage, like 20-40%. Like look, I hit the guy maybe 3-4 times, he's not dead yet. And this is actually disgusting. Honestly, I don't know why did they do this to this aircraft. They, they could just uh, make cannon like on a new laser, it would be better. But no, they did this and I don't know, I don't know how to deal with it. It's actually useless. So what I find out that it's even better to use uh, rockets against the ground targets. Because you can move pretty quick and it's not really hard to hit a ground target with a, with a rocket. You just need to practice a little bit and it's not gonna be hard as you can see. And also it kind of looks pretty cool when you kill someone with a rocket. Okay, so talking about the speed, uh, as I said, this jet is actually faster than a laser. 
In particular, it's very noticeable when you go straight up. As you can see, laser is actually way slower. And yeah, one of the biggest advantages of this jet is that it's very, very maneuverable. Like, look how easily I can dodge a laser who's behind me. This is actually a cool thing about this jet. And when it comes to dogfight on an open area, it's very, very noticeable that uh, this jet is turning way faster than a, than a laser. So I guess some of the dogfighters are gonna like this aircraft. But however, it's useless. It's useless. It doesn't matter that it's turning faster because you can't really finish, uh, finish your opponent because, because the cannon is actually shit. But what actually disappointed me is that you can't actually use uh, the speed glitch on this aircraft, like on a Hydra. Look, right now I'm not even going the full speed with a, with a glitch, and I'm easily overtaking this uh, F-160 aircraft. Look, he's way behind me. So, I don't know, I don't know. Personally, I would keep using a Hydra. It's, it might be still my favorite vehicle. Okay, let's talk about VTOL mod. Well, first of all, before we actually go to the VTOL mod, I'm gonna say that this jet, uh, as like any other jet, can fly backwards. It's not really a useful feature, it just you can use it for fun. So let's move forward. Uh, VTOL mod. Uh, I would say it's a little bit better than on the Hydra. You actually turn in a little bit quicker uh, when you use uh, some tactics like this. In particular, uh, when you want to catch up your opponent, you can actually use a uh, like toggle uh, VTOL to turn faster, so you can see how it works. You instantly get in behind of your opponent, and this is actually cool. But however, you can't finish your opponent because of the shitty cannon. So I don't know how it can be useful in a, in a real fight. Okay, so stealth mod. Uh, I thought it's gonna be an actual game changer, but it's very, very useless. Because if you want to approach your opponent in a stealth mod and then you like turn it off, it's not gonna give you any advantage. Because however, you will not be able to kill your enemy. Because there are no good guns on this uh, aircraft. The only interesting way how you can use this uh, stealth mod is uh, to make kamikaze kills. Like, put sticky bomb on it, and boom, your enemy doesn't expect you to come with a, with a jet. Also, we know that there is a railgun in this game, and uh, even any noob can destroy your aircraft with a one-shot. But what I found out that it's actually hard to hit this jet with a railgun because it's moving very, very quick. Like, look. It looks like bullets actually going through me, but however, eventually they're gonna get you with a railgun. And actually that gun is pretty overpowered. I don't know why would they add this to the game. So what are my thoughts about F-160 airplane? Uh, I don't, actually, I don't think that it's a useful buy and in particular uh, for this price, for this amount of money. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend you to buy that if you don't have extra money because stealth mod is useless, cannon is useless, mm, VTOL mod is pretty much the same as on the Hydra, so I don't know. This jet, I think it's not a game changer it's not a new meta of this game so maybe in the next video i'll try to compare all the uh, fighter aircraft in the game like hydra laser f-160 b-11 and i'll try to decide which jet is actually better now see you in the next video bye bye